Сегодня у нас официальное открытие выставки Аманды Саш. Один из самых ярких представителей Vision React культуры на данный момент, которая ну, действительно дает технику, которая открывает тонкие пространства любви. Сейчас Аманда вам немного расскажет о себе, о своем жизненном пути и Vision React культуре. everybody. I wish I could uh, greet you in Russian, but I uh, unfortunately don't have that language in my vocabulary yet, but maybe next time. But I'm, I'm very, very happy to be here. This is so exciting to be in this part of the world for the first time and to have so many of you come to this exhibition. <laughs> I, I really believe, in, and you are a testament to this, that this movement of, of visionary and sacred art is, is growing all over the world. And us, we are like little mushrooms popping up and showing the world that we're interconnected. And this is, this is a big, big time and movement. And thank you so much to Nico and um, the whole Quantum Tribe Kelt and, and, uh, and Zoya and everybody, it's in Shanti Club. It's so amazing to, to have this international connection with Andrew Jones coming before and Luke Brown and Alex Gray and it's a, it's a growing tribe. Thank you. Okay, so that it does not become too long, I'm going to show you some images of some of my work, talk a little bit about my paintings and this movement that is happening all over the world. We're not alone, and I hope it won't take too long because I know we started late. Okay, so I was born in the USA, in Colorado, and I was given a beautiful childhood from my parents, very, very nurturing and spiritual, and uh, was introduced to art at a very young age. And then I went, I went to Austria when I was 19 to study painting with this master, Ernst Fuchs. He's from the, one of the great masters of fantastic realism from Vienna. And I first studied with his son, and then I went on to become the, uh, Ernst Fuchs's apprentice. But I studied old master's um, style of painting. It's very big here, I can tell. But, uh, I also had a studio in the culture center of the VUK, where we did many experimental art groups. This is the museum of Ernst Fuchs in Vienna, my teacher. These are some of his paintings. This is one of my first uh, fantastic or visionary paintings. And this is done in a technique, like the early Renaissance, um, called the Misch technique, uh, using egg tempera and oil glazes. This is another of my kind of earlier paintings. This is the first painting that I did with the form of the egg where the egg was brought to me through this painting with a, with a snake. I do many of my paintings through intuition. And I've spent many times in, in Bali, Indonesia, and this has been a great place of uh, inspiration for me, and this is where this painting started. So this is a, one of the paintings that is not here. I just show a couple of them, but I have many of these paintings in the shape of an egg. And the egg is this symbol, this portal, into an infinite world. And from this painting, the clothes that I have on, you can see later, is made the same pattern from this painting. And none of my paintings are digital. These are all photographs of paintings. Mm -hmm. 
So this painting is a very big painting. It's two meters, and it's called Anasuromai. Anasuromai means the act of lifting the skirt. <laughs> it took me six years to paint, and I, I did this painting because I read about this gesture in a book. And this story on the bottom is, is a story about why I would lift my skirt. And this is slavery on, on the right and war on the left. And this is the birth of a new world. So it's a protest. And this, is, this has been known in the history of the world that women have been able to stop an army in its tracks. This is a photograph, I think you can see over there. This is a photograph of Occupy LA, Los Angeles, before it got raided, taken away. Yeah. And we had the original painting there. Oh, you can see it over there. And we took it there for, to show. <laughs> so for me, the protest is more about actually painting things to inspire people for the future. So my paintings are about inspiration to dream about the future. They are, they are meant to be like medicine for our spirit and for our cells and for our hearts and that they, that they through the visual language, they can transcend all the languages. I also do many collaboration paintings with other artists. This one is with San Francisco artist Nomi Adana. This is together with many artists at MAPS, which is the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies. This is together with the photographer Leila Love. This is very new, just last month. This is a new collaboration also with Layla Love, and the original of this photograph is in the White House in Washington, D.C. And the mission we have together is to bring greater awareness and awakening to the necessity that we, we wake up as a collective human race. So I do a lot of live painting. You'll see this one, this one I began on the streets of Los Angeles. At concerts, Burning Man. And this project is, a, is in now in the Guinness Book of World Records for the biggest timepiece ever built, biggest clock. And this, I'm painting on one of the clocks. Burning Man, <laughs> woo! Uh, Tribe 13 Gallery, Andrew Jones, Luke Brown, all of these artists we showed together at Boom, at Burning Man, and many, many different places. Also with Kirich and Carrie Thompson. <laughs> and then in, uh, in Hawaii, we also had a big conference. We have uh, Romeo Sharista from uh, Nepal, um, Tibetan, uh, the originator of Tibetan tanka painting. And so we tried to bridge the worlds. That's my example here. And here we are meeting in, in conference to talk about how we can connect our visions to reach more people throughout the world. And here is our workshop that we do, painting workshop in Italy. Uh, we do every summer in July. And here I was painting with Alex Gray and Alison Gray at uh, the Chapel of Sacred Mirrors in New York just two months ago. Mm -hmm. This is their journal for uh, 
the Chapel of Sacred Mirrors and they use many of my paintings and this is a, a magazine to connect artists and people. So to me this painting is, is now my most potent vision. And it's, it's about envisioning and dreaming what I see for the future. It is about a journey that goes back within, that goes back east, symbolically. And it's time to bring this culture out into the world and in a journey of regeneration and transformation. We have a dream to take a train around the world like the peace train and to take this whole like the festivals and all of this culture as an example and invite everybody to come with us. And the more we can dream this together, the more it will become a reality. So I think this is, I could talk about this for a long time and I hope maybe you will come again on Sunday. We will do a three hour workshop. I, I will share more about my technique in the presentation and then if you will bring some of your own work we can talk about that and share that on Sunday. So thank you so much everybody. I will be painting later downstairs and uh, I look forward to talking to you, giving you a hug and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy your night here and enjoy all the art and thank you so much Mel for translating. I'm <laughs> <laughs>